under the assumption that since there's six men in the room, they all have a different perspective as to what a good woman is. Mm -hmm. So if I could hear from all of you about what a good woman is, I think that would help us. Yeah. First of all is, well, I'm coming from my angle where a good woman is someone, you know, she's who she is. A lot of them are not who they need to be. You know, and I'll still come for it. I can bring it down. I can talk to you right now. But, but, uh, but I can't. But, uh, and, and, and part of it, and we can go ahead and follow up with that right there. Part of it because society has really bombarded the woman to uh, be an object. And because of that, it's pulled the woman out of who she really is. And a lot of times a woman is fearful of her true, real self, her emotional self, her intellectual self. You know, I'm still right there with the intellectual self because I tell you right now, if it was, if, if, if we put more emotional based information right here and put more intellectual information right here, where do we think the woman would go to? Mm -hmm. Love you're talking about, you're talking about you looking for a man? Information. Mm -hmm. Where could they be? Mm -hmm. Is that? Is that? She see your watch on the play, trying to think it out. You know what I'm saying? No. No. <laughs> you know. So, but what I'm saying is that the bottom line is, is because, and, and here's the thing: that that everyone's pretty much relationships become because things are emotional. It opens door for creation, which means someone's trying to conquer something.